Good morning, Michelix. Yes, I am Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler slash everything schooler. I have no idea. Okay, so good morning to you all. I am headed out to my sister is having a baptism for her child. And we're going to pray the rosary. My father, oh, my beloved father and my stepmother, they're coming to pick us up. And I get to be in his presence and her presence for a lot of the day. I'm so excited because when I'm done being around them, I am like on flames. I'm like on flames that n I'm unstoppable. It's like I can just have all the hope in the world. And we're going to pray. He's picking us up early so that we can go to the church and pray the rosary together. It's just like, does it get any better than that? To be with your beloved family that God has granted to you. And they want to pray the rosary. And then we get to go to a Latin mass. And then we get to have a baptism. And then hopefully spend time with my sister and her fam and her little family. Okay. So, I'll try to get some clips. I hope. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I can't even see straight. Okay. So, lately, I have been trying to fear being without Mr. Fry, who has gone with the Lord. Um trying to fear less being on my own because I'm really not on my own. I had the most beautiful dream of Stephen the other night and I know that God does give dreams because it's all over the Holy Scripture and it just I, I felt like the only word to describe the whole dream was that he was he came to me like that's how powerful it was it was like he came to me and he was he was driving my vehicle through my kitchen but it wasn't my kitchen do you know what I mean and then I was like, oh, watch out for the cabinets, because they were kind of open, and I'm like, watch out, and I was the one freaking out, going, oh my gosh, watch out, but he was calm as a cucumber, and he was driving, so when I was all, and he also said he missed giving to a charity, a Catholic charity, and he missed uh, giving money to the children, so I've been giving the money to the children in honor of him, and I feel so much more peaceful, because, um, because I, I believe that dream to, to, to mean to me that he's still in the driver's seat of our family and he's still praying for us. He's still in control. He's still taking care of us and guiding us. Okay, here they come. Gotta go. Pretty good, right? It was raining last night and every time it rains, I don't have to worry anymore about my house. Isn't that awesome? I don't have to worry like, is it going to crumble? You know, cause you just touched it before and it was all clapboard. It would just like crumble. Now I don't have to worry. Maybe I could be like 80 years old, you know, up until then, and then it will crumble when I die. But we're going to pray that it lasts really long, even after that, for the sake of my, our beloved children. I'm reminded while I wait for my father, and I'm listening to all the birds flying by, they all sound different, they're so cute, but it's like, you know, they're not, they're not freaking out, at least they don't show it, and plus Holy Scripture says they're not about worrying about what they're going to eat or drink and you know they're constantly in motion they're functioning so if God can take care of them how much more does he take care of us honestly you know what though you really do have to serve the Lord I mean he does rain on all of us but he really takes care of those that love him so if you are being in turmoil constantly and you have no peace you have to get aligned with the Lord you have to do his holy will you have to because we'll still have storms but we will have his peace and his guidance and his opportunities like the birds oh, what? Right, do a little trick for us Whoa, baby. Hmm. Subscribe to the Catholic Unschooler because I'm in it. Oh. And that's all you need. Look how tall he's life, getting. Baby. Oh, all we need is for him to be in our life, baby. I need baby. all the girls. <laughs> okay. No, you only need one girl. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> and it's here. It's here? It's you. Oh. Uh, Just kidding. Hey. Look at that church. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise for the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, and bless in his name. downstairs and enjoying a beautiful time together. I'll get a quick view. Whoa. And I just, they had a shelf over there and I just got this beautiful family consecration prayer book so I can consecrate my family. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. And you know what else? I was just asking God. Hold on a second. Okay, so in 19... You get a, a Catholic missile uh, before the 1965, I want to say. This, oh my gosh, this is from the Latin Mass and all of Fulton J. Sheen, who's a great priest, a great bishop. There he is. Anyway, I've been asking God for one of these, and lately I really begged him. I was like, oh, please, I really want one. And, um, and you can follow along in the Latin Mass. How exciting is this? I'm like beside myself right now, okay? I just got it for... I cannot believe how many people I have seen here. It's amazing. And now we're going up for the baptism. This is what we do. We're going to sanctify, or God's going to sanctify, another person for heaven. Let me take you down.
Look at this. Look at that beautiful, beautiful picture. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is, that's the coronation, the crowning of Our Lady into heaven.